Hey y'all. <laughs> and if you're watching this video by now, you've um, noticed we got us a new camper finally. So we are going to have to we have. have some, oh, you want we to? We have four seats. I didn't count the chairs in the camper. <laughs> So we we just recently purchased a 2022 Fusion 427, and I needed some jack pads or some jack blocks or something. So I've been looking around on the internet, and there's the Anderson blocks. You can buy the Camco Lego blocks, and there's you can make your own. There's all all different ones out there. Well, we follow Paving New Paths, and I'll put a link in the description below. Definitely go click on the link and follow them, give them a like and subscribe. Great people, love watching them. In one of the videos, Kevin makes some blocks to put under his leveling stands and his landing gear for their grand design. I love the idea and that's what I'm gonna make. So I went out, I bought the supplies. I'll put a list right here of all the supplies. Once you, once you get all the supplies and everything, I got them from Lowe's and Tractor Supply, just like just like Kevin from Paving New Paths. I ended up buying... And I was, um, oh, oh. I was setting up for Daddy because I want to be helpful. Yeah, this is my best helper. What I ended up doing is got two mats from Tractor Supply. These are the three quarter inch, three foot by four foot horse stall mats. I got two four by six by eight per, uh, pressure treated lumber and three of the one by six by eights. And of course I got some paint, some black paint and some screws and I'm changing it up a little bit. So what I'm doing instead of buying the, the little handles like what um, Kevin uses on paving new paths, probably not gonna be as nice as Kevin's, but I got some old um, tie down straps that I'm going to use some fender washers and attach those to the side of them. So there's, there, I'll still have a handle. So stay tuned, check all this out. Hopefully this can help you save a little money. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. So our first cuts that we're going to make are going to be on the four by six by eight. Everly, come here. All right. So we got to cut this down into smaller lengths. What size, Everly? Eleven and a quarter. All right. So we got to measure out eleven and a quarter inches. So, all right, Everly. I'll get it. You got it. Okay. We got it. Oh, other way, baby. Other way. I would just bend it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's kind of right. R nope, hang on. Everly. Right here. Nope, put it right there. All right, so go to 11 and a quarter. All right, Everly. What? I'm gonna measure. All right, hold this. Here, you're, gonna, you're gonna draw the line. Okay, draw a line straight up against that, okay? Okay. So we had to pin up right here, right? Cut, then cut. Yep, uh, we're gonna cut this, and I'm gonna use the big miter saw. I Everly. don't need to do it. Everly, you don't get to use the miter saw, do you? Yeah, I, I need a little one. You need a little one? Do we need to buy you a little one? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll buy you a little one one of these days. Yeah. Now just 12 more times. Draw me a line. There, there. All right, right. Perfect. Uh, uh -huh. I 
All right, I got all the four by six by eights cut. Now it's time to cut the one by six by eight, and they have to be an inch and an eighth long. All right, so I don't know how Kevin does it, but somehow he can snap and he gets this stuff done. I don't know, it doesn't work for me. Hey girls, come here. I got little princesses, so we're gonna try something. Come here, both of y'all. Stand right here for me. Stand right there. Um, here? On the floor. Stand right there, Everly. Stand right next to the sister. All right, I need y'all to clap. Ready, hang on. How many times? When I say one, two, three, y'all clap together. All right? One, two, three. Oh, hey, it worked. Gonna have to try that for a lot of other things. All right, so I've got all of these cut now and all of those cut. Okay, now I'm gonna get them all put together, paint them and put the rubber, rubber mat on them. All right, I'm back inside. I had to shut the garage door. West Texas is windy every day. If you don't like the wind, well, don't come to West Texas. <laughs> Anyways, back to what we're building here. So, once you get all of your boards cut, you'll take your one by six by eights, and you're gonna end up sandwiching these, just crisscross, like that, and then two on top. And that's gonna be the main part of your block. Now, once I get everything all lined up and all screwed together, then we'll, we'll get all of them done and paint them. And then we'll start adding the rubber mat to it after I get all of the sanding disc off. That ever really helped me. <laughs> but now to get this all screwed together, and I'll show you what that looks like. I ended up going with some exterior wood screws. Just about any two inch screw will work. And then these is, this is what I'm gonna use for the handles. So I got these fender washers and some pan head screws. These are gonna be a 10 by one. And the fender washers are gonna be a 3 16th by inch and a quarter. And some good old black spray paint, which back to the wind, not gonna be spray painting today. So we'll get back to that. Let's put these together. All right, so we're back and I have all the blocks painted and screwed together. What I ended up doing is I put at least four screws in each one of these on both sides to get them all good and tight. Now, and I got all the rubber mat cut into end of the squares to go on either side okay. all right so here's what the final product looks like i end up putting the mat on here and put 10 screws all the way around it and then here's the handle i came up with this is just an old tie down i had burned the ends of it i don't know how well it's going to last but figure i'll use it for now and we'll see how that goes but the blocks are heavy these are about 27 pounds a piece, but they are super stout. I feel like I could probably drive this truck up on top of them without any issues. Okay, so I hope this helps you out a little bit, give you a little bit cheaper option to the Anderson blocks or the snap pads, which both are good products, but they're expensive and I like this idea. Again, big shout out to Paving New Paths for coming up with this idea and we're gonna find out here in a couple weeks, we're gonna take our first shakedown trip with the new Fusion and see how they work. I'm pretty sure they're gonna work great. So again, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helps you out. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also make sure you go over to Paving New Paths, give them a like and subscribe. If you're not already, subscribe to them. So everybody stay safe out there.